It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am an angry, angry One Bar joined with a probably just as angry Lepagus. I'm uh, I'm let down. I'm defeated, sad, and I'm pissed off. Yes, all those things wrapped into one little purple package. We were we were this close to snapping that 0-6 streak against Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Comes down to the damn end again. The one thing I didn't want, and now it will be a sleepless night. It was a typical Vikings game. You know, they, they're up at half, and then they blow it, give it 21 points in a minute 54 or something like that. And then they, they surprisingly get themselves back in the game, get in position to, to take it home, to win it. They go for it on fourth down instead of kicking a field goal, and here we are. We are one and four. Um, yeah, it's just just a sad, sad game. Um, you know, we talked about the half. You know, Vikings' first half was perfect. Their third quarter was horrific, and their fourth quarter was decent, but uh, wasn't enough to beat the Seahawks. So, um, you know, first, I think we have to talk about the whole meltdown in the third quarter. I mean, it was just – it was just disgusting. Delvin Cook goes out, and also the whole team, like the whole heart of this team, just it just went away. Yeah, Delvin Cook goes out with that with that injury. I mean, and at least he came back for a play. I mean, it didn't last, but hopefully it's not too serious. He had a very good first half. Alexander Madison took over for him. Did did fantastic. Twenty carries, one hundred twelve yards. Uh, he was carrying the load. But yeah, it was, we were, that third quarter, we were just completely defeated. They get 21 points in two minutes, which is unheard of. And uh, and we still almost won the damn thing. Yeah, Cousins had a you know a couple bad series. The fumble there, which I wasn't a big fan of how that thing was ruled. I, when they're blowing whistles like that, and guys are obviously going to stop, um, I think that's a dead play, and they shouldn't be able to review that, but that's the way the rule is. Um the, the interception Cousins threw was ugly. I mean, he had Jefferson wide open, and he just didn't put enough on that to get over K.J. Wright, who did make a hell of a play on that thing. But um, he, he got his head, you know, he got his head out of his ass and, you know, started handing out to Madison. Things were working. And, you know, Adam Thielen stepped up today, and uh, Cousins found him and got us back in this thing to the point where we should have won. I think that's where we, what we need to talk about here is that old decision on fourth and inches. What would you have done there? Uh, I would have kicked the field goal, and I'm not just saying that. You can go back and look at my tweet. I would have kicked that thing, no problem. We're up by eight, kick it off to them with, what, two minutes left, and they got to go down, not only get a touchdown, but also the two-point conversion. I don't give a shit about the analytics. Kick the field goal. Man. Yeah, analytics can lick my sack. I'm not a fan of analytics. I think too many times it just doesn't work. You get too cute. You overthink it. Take the points when they're there. You're forcing the Seahawks to go down the field, score eight, not score six, not score seven, but score eight. That's hard to do, even with Russell Wilson. I can get why Zimmer would have gone for it. I mean, you get the first down there, game's over. Um, it was rainy. It was windy. We have a history of shanking field goals. Um, and also, the other thing they should have factored in, I mean, Seattle still had a timeout at that point. It wasn't like they didn't have any timeout. So, um, again, I'm not sure which way that would help you. If you want, that makes you kick it more, makes you want to go for it more. But I'm with you. I would have kicked that thing. I just think it gives you a better chance to win the game. But you know, Madison too. I mean, he could bounce that thing out. It was wide open there, but he just took it right up the right up the old gut ski, right into a Seahawk, and uh, that was it. Yeah, and uh, so Zimmer Zimmer's not going to have fun answering those questions. He's not going to have fun answering questions before that, as far as why he didn't go for two um, on that last touchdown, which would have sealed it with that field goal. So uh, I do not envy him there, but is what it is. I mean, we look at the overall stats as far. I mean, Vikings dominated pretty much everything. They doubled up on time of possession, total yards, passing, rushing. Um, they owned the Seahawks. It was that two-minute stretch of just absolute grossness in the third quarter that sunk them because we could have won by damn near two scores. I, I think that goes back. It goes back to being a young football team. I mean, you're going to have those mental lapses. You're going to have those breakdowns. Um, you, you're gonna, you're learning as you go. I mean, they are getting better, but they still don't know how to finish these games off. Don't know how to win these games, and it shows. And you know, look back at the Titans game. That was one the Vikings should have won. Should have won this one against Seattle here. Um, but I guess a positive is this team is far better than that shit product we saw for the first two games of the year. Yeah, uh, let's talk about some good. Let's talk some good. Uh, the secondary, young secondary, Gladney. 
and Dan's where I think they played pretty damn good. Dan's had a rough final series there against DK Metcalf, but I think they played good. They continue to get better. Um, I think Garrett Bradbury had a very good game. Some guys that we've been talking about in the previous weeks that have not showed up, like Herb Smith, Odenabo, they uh, they had a good game. Eric Wilson had an awesome game. Yeah, Odenabo had a great game. So what was he doing that last play? He had a clear line at Russell Wilson. I'm like, holy shit, we're going to sack him. Then he just stopped and was like, whoa, didn't do anything. So I, I don't know what was going You're on Like there. this. Yeah, well, it didn't work. I think he got tired. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I don't it know. It was like... I could sack him, but then he just, he just stopped running. So um, we, I don't even think we need to talk about Drew Samia anymore at this point. I mean, it, we're just kind of beating a dead horse. He he was horrible. I'd rather horrible. have a dead horse out there. Horrible. And uh, let's just mention, can we talk about Chris Collinsworth for eight seconds? That guy needs to not do another Vikings game ever again. I've, I've never been a fan of him. Um, I'm not sure what you're exactly – Referring to, I had some very low kids that they watched the game. All yeah, I'm not a we, Kirk Cousins goes, brings him down on a 98 yard drive, and he's talking about how good Russell Wilson is. And then Cousins will do something, which is dead silent. Yeah. All right. That was the eight seconds yeah. of Collinsworth. Yeah. That was more than we should have spent on him. I know. Well, Justin Jefferson, he wasn't really involved that much. Three for 23, five targets. Um, wish they would have targeted him more. It'll be interesting to see what what's up with Dalvin Cook. Hopefully this is something he can come back to. But we are one and four, so uh, is it worth it? Delvin, if it's your groin and needs a massage, give me a call. I will offer my services to you. That's very nice of you. The, the, the tough part is, once again, looking at the box score for Seattle, I mean, we, we kept Chris Carson the 52 yards. We, we Tyler Lockett was held in check. Metcalf, considering what he's done this year, except for that last drive, we actually kept him in pretty good check too. So we did a lot of very, very good things. It's just we stepped on our dick at the end like we always do. Yeah, this team doesn't know how to finish games. And it, it's, it is what it is, and it's been proven twice here, and uh, we almost blew it last week against the Texans too. So, um, it just it was it was a gamble, and it didn't pay off for Meg Zimmer. So that's what it comes down to. I will say this: as mad as I am about them not kicking a field goal at one and three, just wanting to close that game out, it makes it makes sense either way you look at it. I'm just I'm just boring and generic, and really wanted to make them work for that eight points, not. Yeah, I mean, you make it, the game's over. You kick the field goal, they still have life. So, but you you don't get it, then they have even more life, and that's what happened. Yeah. So, uh, just final, final, just a couple more good things. In Gakwe, another sack. That's four games in a row for him. He is proving to be well worth that second rounder. Um, it was it was great to see Mr. Lynch get his first sack. So, uh, some beautiful. good things. Maybe it'll tally over to the to the Falcons next week, where we play a team with no coach or GM. Yeah, I want to see more of James Lynch. He looks like he came out of like a cartoon or something. Game of life. Like the, <laughs> I don't know. He's something else. Well, just, they might as well know. throw him in there. At one and four, we're going nowhere. Can he play guard? Probably. That's one thing we should talk about. If Ezra Cleveland isn't out there or if Ole Udo, if somebody isn't out there at guard next week, then... I mean, Drew Samia, they cannot – I feel bad for Drew Samia at this point. I feel bad for him. He shouldn't be out there. Did you see when he, like – it was a clear hold, like a really, really bad hold. He had the guy's pants. He had, like, his dick. He had his nipples, and he's just grabbing them. And then he looks at the camera, and he's like, oh, what? Yeah. It was, like, he, it was, like, the worst holds I've ever seen in my life, and he's trying to argue it. it was, I just feel bad for the guy. I feel bad for him at this point. Weird womanly hips, too. He's got a weird shape to him. Well – Whatever it is, he's 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 not meant to be out on the field at this point in his career. So um, I really hope they make a change there. Just so, even if he's not any better, give the guy a break. I think I just cut him at this point. That's a little extreme. All Why right, not? let's uh, let's get into our studs and turds. Let's wrap this thing up. I'm so mad. I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to stare at the clock tonight. Yeah, there's no way anyone's sleeping tonight. Uh, Vikings either get beat early. Or, you, or win it early. Don't do this to us. We can't take it. We're too old. Too old. All right. All right. Let's start uh, with uh, let's start with the turds. We'll end on a good note with the studs. Turds gonna be easy. <laughs> Drew Aria, uh, hands down. Not only the shitty blocking, 
that was allowing Kirk Cousins to get an ass full of juice me on his face every time Jerron Reed came through. The three penalties for like 75 yards, whatever the hell it was, uh, just he's just not good. He shouldn't be out there. We already said it. He needs to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to give Drew Samia a pass this week, even though he was deterred. I'm going Mike Zimmer. There's just there's just too much weirdness going on with that field goal. Not going for two before that. It didn't add up at the end. Like you said, we they might as well just not going. For, yeah, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Drew Samia yeah. gets a pass. Mike Zimmer's my third. My stud. Stud, I'm going. Uh, I'm going. Eric Wilson. I have not been nice to Eric Wilson these first couple of weeks. I didn't think he showed up, and he showed up big. He did. He was going to be my stud, but since you took him, I'm going to go a different road. I'm going Alexander Madison for stepping up, carrying the load. Uh, I mean, he was running damn hard, running well, uh, shaking tackles, uh, showing great burst and vision, except for that last run. Uh, hundred something yards on the ground. I think it was 102, 112. Um, 112. I mean, Madison really stepped up, and um, hopefully Delvin Cook's back next week. But if he's not, the Vikings are still in good hands, and their offense should still run the same, assuming they just use Madison in the same role. My my backup stud of the game was Garrett Bradbury, by the way. Hell of a game. Wow. Hell of a wow. game. Yeah, I, I think even Jeff Gladney's got a shot. I mean, he locked down Tyler Lockett, which no, not many can do this year. They're good. All right, that's our show. All right, uh, here's something you guys can think of when you're trying to fall asleep tonight. Vin Diesel's real name is Mark Sinclair. <laughs>